you're wasting time. If you use Excel for hours every day, you need to set up your own template that starts with all your customizations in it. It'll save you hours over the rest of your career. For example, if I wanted to center across, we shouldn't use that merge, it's not good. There's no center across option. So we just set up our own called center across. There it goes. Or if we want our numbers to be formatted, don't bother having to go right click format cells. Just click the comma. And I've set this comma to format the numbers exactly like I want them to be set. Also, I've got my own table style. I like this one. Okay, wins fave. And I've got my own slicer style set up. I've got my own pivot table options. It's pretty straightforward to do. I'll show you how. Let's go. The key thing to have set up is a folder ready for you to put your startup file in. I've just created one on my desktop, okay, and in a folder called My Excel Startup Files. You can put it wherever you want. All right, and we're going to create this book.xltx file that we're going to put in here. Okay, so for example, the center across. In this cell styles window, you can simply go new cell style, create one called center across or whatever you want to call it, I'll call it center. And then you format it with whatever options you want. The only option I want is alignment. I want it to ignore everything else. So format, alignment, center across selection. Okay, and okay. And I now have a style called center. Great, how about if I want to make this comma do something? Well, again, under here, come down to comma, right click and modify it. Okay, it's modifying the number format, format, okay, and it's font, uh, sorry, it's number, and this is the format, okay. If you're struggling to see that, or what it is, if you want to copy mine, I'll put it in the description. Okay, and that comma is actually triggered by that little comma. So there you go. You can also set up your own table styles by right clicking and duplicating an existing one and then modifying it. You can also set up a default slicer. Check this out. If I have heading and then one, two, three, four, okay, turn it into a table, control T. I've defaulted it to this. So this one basically is my favorite, okay? But then I can also add a slicer. So insert slicer for heading, okay? And over here, right click, set as default. This is my custom one that I made earlier. And with this one, it just looks a bit prettier, okay? And all you do, right click and modify an existing one, and then edit it, okay? Oh, sorry, right click and duplicate an existing one. So right click, duplicate, and then edit it to your style. Great, make sure you haven't got anything in any columns, clear out everything else. What do you do then? Okay, the critical bit, file, save as, okay? I'm just gonna use my little toolbar here, but just go file, save as. So save as. And basically you wanna to go to your folder that you set up, the one I mentioned earlier, okay? Annoyingly, you then wanna change this to XLTX. And when you do that, it changes what folder you're in. So actually do this step first. If you don't see these extensions, you're just looking for Excel template. Okay, it takes you to this different folder. Then go back to your startup folder and save this with this exact word, book, capital B, and that's it, book. Okay, and then click save. Then the next time you open up Excel, those things will appear if, if, okay, number one, turn off the splash screen because unfortunately, 
file new blank workbook does not trigger that book.xltx. So what you have to do under options, and I'll show you a couple of other things under here in a second, under options, okay, you need to turn off your splash screen, okay, so under general, show the start screen, turn that off, and then the most important thing, under advanced, you've got to go down here to the general section, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, and here you put the path of where your startup file is. Okay, that's the trick. Then when you start Excel, just by launching an Excel file, it'll open on this screen with your, your data loaded, with your sort of setup loaded, like this. Brilliant, okay. Then the other trick, quick access toolbar, okay. Right click, customize your quick access toolbar because you can also add the file new button. So go to uh, all commands, click on something, type N to go jump to the new ends, and then you're just looking for new file. Okay, and if you add that, that also triggers your template file to be created, which is pretty awesome. Also, pivot tables I mentioned. So file, again, options, back into data, edit your default pivot table options. Okay, this isn't for this particular file, this is just for Excel in general, but edit your default layout, okay? Change it to tabular form, change it to do not show subtotals, or if you've already got a nice pivot table, import it. Okay, this is your default settings then. You can even go uh, turn off auto fit. Brilliant. So there's all sorts of options like this, okay? Just really good setup defaults. I just want to mention a big shout out to our latest members, uh, Moralida, uh, Weave8060, Jonathan Cox, uh, Olatunji, okay? And thanks for continuing to support us, John, Anne, and Victor, all legends, thanks a lot. And hopefully people enjoy this, check out the uh, membership, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Before you go, Check out one of my other videos or playlists and click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.